Hey yo, what is up? What is up? What is up? This is your boy Top Dot for another Music Monday. Uh, we're gonna tonight. I'm gonna talk about some of the interesting things that's going on in the, in the rap, rap and music game right now. Like uh, other night, Lizzo kind of bearing her back out, literally at the Lakers game, and Kanye looking like a human bag of popcorn. Um, or I guess one of his Sunday services. Um, also, rest in peace to the young man, Juice World. Um, I guess he should have it. I had a seizure earlier at the airport and ended up not making it. Um, what was ironic is that a few months ago, I guess, it was a TikTok challenge and he started it. Basically, it was the lean seizure dance type of thing. And come to fruition he actually died from a, a real seizure um it was some I guess uh, underground reporting that he got an inside scoop it was undercover marshals which is always on the plane I don't know why he wouldn't have th- thought that it wouldn't have been no security on the plane but it's always some type of um armed plane clothes person of authority that rides on the plane uh, air marshal is what they call them. Um, they had authority to basically arrest you in the air. So I guess he found out about that and decided that he was going to put all the pills that he had, you know what I'm saying, ingest them all. And they said that uh, well, it's rumored that that's what happened, but you you never know. And, you know, I don't really believe people had, uh, in the rumors, you got to have some type of fact behind it but yeah all the crazy stuff that's going on in the game right now um but Kanye he just nerve he nerve wracking just in the in the whole nutshell he's nerve wracking who <laughs> the stuff that he doing is it's just attention grabbing um I guess shout out to him for finding his way in God and switching over his whole belief system and, and going with that and everything but I'm gonna play the devil's advocate I don't once again Kanye is in, in a big world of debt he, everybody keep forgetting about that he keep he owes the Russians like two or three hundred million dollars and no matter what y'all say about Kanye finance Kanye don't have two or three hundred million dollars so Kanye is trying to find a way to get a lot of money really quickly so you can pay the Russian brothers off because he's terrified of them because they're going to do something to him or he think they're going to do something to him. Um, he just like it's a headache. Kanye West is a headache. Um, it was funny before but now it's not funny no more. He's just he a joke that's, that's been played out. Whatever his music is, whatever his music is, I ain't gonna lie, I don't listen to it no more. I don't even try to pay attention to Kanye except when he come across the screen for something that he didn't did. And I just think it's so appalling that I gotta say something about it. Now, with him and this coming out and looking like um, a silver marker, for some reason, it's once again, attention grabbing. You have, there's no reason you have to do that. You could just... It's be yourself. You're Kanye. You have a big enough following for people to just want to see you. You don't have to come out looking like a damn big marker or a, a bag of microwavable popcorn or even the popcorn that you cook on the stove. You know what I'm talking about? But still, it's just for attention, man. Attention. And like things like Lizzo doing by, by coming to the, the Laker game with all her cheeks out wearing a thong. Okay, cool. You're a woman, you got you can do what you do, but I guess it's a respectability factor. You know what I'm saying? I guess in the end you gotta it's basically by having a little bit of respect for yourself. And I guess this was an okay looking woman. Um pretty woman, I would say. Um I've not heard her music. I don't know the phenom behind her, but um from what I heard and seen of her, um, she's okay. But uh, just in instances like that, you 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 draw 
good attention and then I also think you draw negative attention when you do that because I mean you didn't have to I don't mind you doing it but I just thought it was a little over the top but who am I but still um I just know that you know I guess when you're a superstar you could do stuff like that but to me that was kind of strange that somebody else a skinnier woman would have did that or I guess somebody else would have did that they would have been more attention put on it and like more emphasis and everything but I guess since she's a new up and coming uh, singer or star wherever she is since she knew an up and coming I'm figuring that that's probably why it ain't no big fuss about it you know it's basically like it helped her out as far as I guess is um body imaging cause she's like she's not afraid to show what she got and she's not afraid of her size and everything big ups for that that's 100% big ups for that cause I you know I come from a family of big people I'm um not a small guy myself you know I ain't, I never used to be a small guy and probably back a few years ago I was close to being like 300 something pounds so I'm I know how it is um but it's big ups for that but besides all of that you know you're gonna have them other people coming after you talking a little bit of this talking a little bit of that but you know big ups to her I just think like next time she do something like that just make it like a full body suit you know what I'm saying show your full body I guess or whatever but don't just like have your have basically just your cheeks out because basically that's you're giving off the implication that if you want it come get it you know what I'm saying it's like that I'm like that you know what I'm saying if you want it and you think you come get it come get it you know the wrong type of thing I think wrong type of messaging so but besides that yeah I just think the, the, the music game and the rap game they got real convoluted and it got real watered down to, to the fact that everybody is following everybody like I guess Future is apologizing and him and Gucci Man are not him and that Gucci Man I'm sorry just Future himself is kind of apologizing for basically influencing this lean culture type of thing which he did and which I told people if you got a voice out here and you're able to twist words to where people would listen and actually follow you that's a big power that's a really really big power now if you don't get that type of uh, power and you don't got that type of voice and you say stuff and people just laugh at you ah uh, yeah just stop being destructive to yourself and that yes yeah, stop being destructive to yourself but when it comes to the younger generation who are susceptible to all of this stuff that's being put out here you gotta take some responsibility and think yo I gotta draw back on some of this that's why I'm, I say in my rhymes man I preach it or I speak about what happened in my life and how I done got over that and overcame it and stepped up and became something else off of everything else that's been put upon me but um you these rappers out here man they, they, they had to start thinking now they gotta start thinking man these kids are sponges and they're trying to soak up <clears throat> you know, well, they're trying to soak up all this game and it's their responsibility or it's anybody's responsibility with a big enough voice to sit back and think yo this don't just affect me now people are actually listening to me and willing to follow what I'm saying so what I can do now is tone back some of this craziness that I'm popping off and just basically put more of a more positive spin on what I'm saying you know you, you don't have to go out there and be schoolboy type stuff like that but if you preach if you out there speaking about lean and drugs and hitting women and stealing cars and hitting licks you're going to have to expect that people that's in that same mind state are going to be influenced by you and they're probably going to listen to what you do they, they are basically getting clues to what they should do from you so you got to be careful about what you're doing out here and how you moving especially with these younger younger kids I ain't talking about the teenagers I'm talking about the, the pre teens because them the ones that are getting more caught up in the world than uh, the older and the middle generation. So, you know what I'm saying? Just right now, the, the rap game is watered down with a lot of little homies just on the same mission, trying to get girls, get cars, 
Get Money, I guess, and all of that. You got some of these other rappers that are peeling off now. Um, shout out to YB Corday. I like Lil Homie. The reason I like Lil Homie because he basically like a young rapper with a older type of um, mentality, which is how a lot of me and my people was when we was younger. We was, we was always told we was uh, young people with old souls. And uh, that really stuck because that man, we caught on to things quicker than a lot of these other, um, a lot of the other folks did. And that's, that was kind of cool because we needed that, especially back when I was growing up, because it was the, the crazy 80s. And in the 80s, man, people, it was a lot of stuff happening in the 80s. It was women getting uh, kidnapped uh, every other day. It was people getting shot up. It was drugs being massively distributed. It was drugs being massively used by a lot. The crack epidemic blew the hell up in the 80s. It was all kind of craziness, man. So, um... I know how that I know how that type of air and, and where it come from. So when I hear these newer cats nowadays talking all this this and that and the third and the fifth and the seventh and the eighth and whatever else they be talking, I just look at them like, man, y'all don't really know. It's people that actually got it out of mud and they had to do some things for it. But just with that being said, man, it, it's just I just wanted to, to touch on on some of them things, man. Once again, rest of the young, rest in peace of the young man, uh, Juice World. I haven't heard any of his uh, music. I guess I'll go back and get a little, um, a fair view of him and what he did. I, I heard he was all right. A lot of people saying he was cool. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, he was 21, so he was young, 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 just starting to live life. So I guess. Um, that has to be taken into account too, you know. Nowadays, it's, it's crazy out here. Um, y'all young people, y'all be easy out here, man. Stay up off them, them heavy drugs, man. Leave them manufactured drugs alone, period, because they ain't good for y'all anyway. And y'all don't want them type of problems, man, really. Because them type of drugs is really, 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 really terrible. So, yeah. And with that being said, man, I'd like to thank y'all for joining your boy once again on this Monday. Doing this little music thing. Uh, I would love for y'all to give me some suggestions to what I should do next or any type of little show or anything y'all know. Anything y'all can think of that'll make the show pop a little bit more or whatever. You know, I take all suggestions. I take positive and negative comments. It's all good to me. Um, and that's about it. So until next Monday, I would like to thank y'all for rocking with your boy Top Dot. Y'all get with me next Monday. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment. Slide up, leave a like if you think the video was okay. So with that being said, I'm out. Deuces. <laughs>